Greetings, candidates, and welcome. Today, under the topic, the financing uh, decision, we are going to study the characteristics, the benefits, and the drawbacks of lease finance. In our previous sessions, we've covered the equity finance, debt finance, and uh, hybrids. Today, we are on the fourth long-term source of funds known as lease finance and by the end of this lesson you should be able to explain the characteristics of lease finance and you should also be able to outline the advantages and disadvantages of lease finance which is a long-term source of finance that allows businesses to use assets without having to purchase them outright and in a lease agreement, the lessor or the owner of the asset provides the lessee, who is the user of the asset, the right to use the asset for a specified period of time, usually in exchange of regular lease payments. So in a lease agreement, we have a party known as the lessor, who is the owner of the asset. Another party is the lessee, who is the user of the asset and in a lease agreement the lessor uses the asset without necessarily having to buy it so we're going to study the characteristics the benefits and the drawbacks of lease finance which is a long-term source of finance let us begin with the characteristics characteristics of lease finance. One is asset usage without ownership. Asset usage without ownership. Lease finance allows businesses to use assets such as equipment, real estate, motor vehicles without owning them. And the lessor retains the ownership. The ownership is retained by the lessor while the lease, the lessee, while the lessee, while the lessee, who is the user, gets the right to use the asset. So ownership remains with the lessor and the usage is on the part of the lessee, the one who uses the asset. Right, so it is a source of finance. Asset usage without ownership is the first characteristic of lease finance. Number two, we are outlining the characteristics of lease finance. Fixed period. And payments. Fixed periods and payments. Lease agreements typically have a fixed lease period or term, and the lessee makes regular payments to the lessor. The one who uses the asset pays the owner regular payments, fixed payments over a specified period of time. And these payments include both the principal may include both the principal and interest components, fixed period and fixed uh, payments. Another characteristics can be on the basis of types of, types of leases, types of leases. Lease agreements can be classified as either operating leases or finance leases finance leases or operating leases and candidates operating leases are more like rental agreements while finance leases often transfer ownership to the lessor at the expiry of the term so we have operating leases and finance leases Operating leases operate like rent, rental payments. The 
les sorts pays de les euh, payments, right? These payments over a period of time, but at the end of the term, the asset is not transferred to the lessee. On the other hand, the uh, finance lease transfers ownership to the lessee at the end of the term. So here there are two types. Operating lease agreement and finance this one is short term, this one is long term. This one at the end of the lease agreement, the asset is transferred to the lessee. Operating lease is more like rent payment. The fourth characteristic is in relation to maintenance. Maintenance responsibility. maintenance responsibility the lessor may retain responsibility for maintaining and servicing the leased asset in operating leases do you understand while the lessee may take on such responsibilities in the finance lease agreement so maintenance responsibility the one who maintains the asset is dependent on the type of the lease. As for the operating lease, the lessor, the owner of the asset, is charged with responsibility to maintain the asset. On the other hand, in a finance lease agreement, the lessee, the one who uses the asset, maintains the asset. So maintenance responsibility is dependent on the type of the lease. Or, you understand? Yes. Five, flexibility. Flexibility. Lease finance provides flexibility. It provides flexibility, allowing businesses to do what? To acquire assets without a large sum amount, without having to pay upfront capital outlay. And that is particularly beneficial for companies without budget. Um, we, 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 companies with the budget constraints. It is beneficial for companies with budget constraints. Companies are able to have access to assets without necessarily having to pay large sums of amounts upfront. Flexibility. So these are five characteristics. Pros of lease finance, pros of lease finance. What are the benefits of lease finance? One is conservation of capital. Conservation of capital. Lease finance enables businesses to conserve capital by avoiding the large upfront payments associated with asset purchases. And that capital can then be used to um, carry out or can be used in uh, other ways like uh, strategic uh, needs, meeting strategic needs, and other operational needs. Capital is conserved. Instead of buying large, uh, 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 in, instead of financing assets, instead of paying assets, large amounts of assets to acquire, um, large amounts of sums to acquire assets, capital is conserved, and the capital that is conserved can then be used to fund other activities, other projects. Two, tax benefit. is also another advantage of lease finance. Lease payments may be treated as operating expenses, which offers potential tax benefits. And candidates, tax Treatment can vary based on the type of lease and the regulations within the country. There is a tax benefit associated with lease finance. You understand? Three, up to debt. 
equipment or assets up to date up to date this allows businesses to assess the latest equipment the latest technology without the need for frequent large scale capital investments and that can be uh, especially important in industries with uh, rapid evolving technologies up to date equipment up to date equipment number 4 the fourth benefit of lease finance is off balance sheet financing off balance sheet financing what do i mean by off balance sheet financing now candidates operating leases in particular may keep leased assets off the company's balance sheet and that can impact financial ratios and debt covenants positively because remember we say that operating leases are not owned by the business they are owned by the lessor operating leases um lease assets are owned operating leased assets are owned by the lessor and therefore such assets are kept off the balance sheet. they don't appear as assets in the balance sheet of the lessee and that can be advantageous in various ways of balance sheet financing. Lease financial assets may also have a flexible end of term options. Flexible end of term options. May have end flexible end of term options. At the end of the lease term, businesses often have the flexibility to return the asset, to renew the lease, to purchase the asset, and that the price at which the business can buy the asset may be predetermined. Or another alternative could be entering into a new lease agreement for an upgraded equipment. So there are many options at the end of the Lease term. I've mentioned it could be uh, returning the asset. The business can renew the, uh, the, 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 the lease agreement. The lessor can purchase the asset or even enter into an entirely new lease agreement for an asset that is up, up to date, upgraded equipment. So it has flexible end of term options flexible end of term options. These are benefits. How about cons? Cons of lease finance. Disadvantages of lease finance. What are the disadvantages of lease finance? One, Higher overall cost. Higher overall cost. What does that mean? That means that over the long term, lease payments may result in higher overall cost compared to purchasing the asset outright. And that is particularly true for finance leases where the lessee assumes ownership at the end. It may be cheaper to purchase an asset outright than enter into a lease agreement with the lessor. Number two, we've seen that uh, the lessee does not own the asset, no ownership. With lease uh, finance, the business never owns the asset outright unless it exercises a purchase option at the end of the lease term. 
And that means a business doesn't benefit from asset appreciation. Three, restrictions on use. Some lease agreements come with restrictions on the use of the leased asset. And any violation of such terms could result in penalties or even termination of the lease agreement. Thus, a disadvantage. Restrictions on use. Four, dependency on the lessor. Dependency on the lessor. Dependency on the lessor. The business relies on lease finance. The business that rely on lease finance are dependent on lessor for the availability of assets and for favorable lease terms. And therefore, changes in lessor policies or changes in the financial health of the lessor may negatively impact the lessee. Five, lease classification changes. How is changes in lease classification a disadvantage to the business? Now, changes in accounting standards, such as the International Financial Reporting Standards, uh, particularly number 16, and the financial accounting standards um, may impact the classification of lease and, 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 and affect the financial reporting of the lessor. There are times where the financial reporting standards may change and such changes may negatively impact the financial reporting of the lessor. So these are five disadvantage of, disadvantages of lease finance. We've identified five uh, benefits of lease finance. We've also highlighted five characteristics of lease finance. The first one being asset usage without ownership. There is a fixed period and payment that is a characteristic. Leases can also be classified as either operating leases or finance leases. There is a, the characteristic on maintenance responsibility. We saw that the responsibility to maintain the asset is dependent on the type of the asset. For the operating um, lease, it is the, the lessor who maintains the asset and for the finance lease, the lessee has the responsibility to maintain the asset. Another feature is on flexibility. So these are five characteristics. We have identified five uh, advantages. One is conservation of capital. Number two, tax benefit. Number three, up-to-date equipment. Or number four, off-balance sheet financing. Number five, flexible end-of-term options. There are also five disadvantages. One is the higher overall cost. Number two, there is no ownership. Number three, restrictions on use. Number four, dependency on the lessor. Number five, lease classification changes. Do you understand, candidates, the characteristics, the disadvantages, and disadvantages of this argument? So we've come to the end of the lesson. And in conclusion, candidates, we can say that uh, lease finance offers businesses a means to acquire and a means to use assets without the need for a significant uh, capital outlay or purchasing the assets outright. And while lease finance provides flexibility and certain financial advantages, businesses must carefully consider the long-term costs 
businesses should consider ownership implications and the impact of the lease agreements on the financial statements and ratios. And the choice between lease finance and outright purchase depends on the specific needs and the specific financial objectives of the business. That is crucial before settling on lease finance as a long-term source of finance. There are other factors that ought to be put into consideration. Thank you for attending the lesson. Here is your today's assignment. One, what role does lease finance play in a company's capital structure and how does it differ from traditional debt financing? Two, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of lease financing of businesses, considering factors such as flexibility and long-term commitments. Number three, how does lease finance impact financial statements and ratios? And what considerations should organizations keep in mind while deciding to lease assets for their operations? Thank you for, the, um, for your time. Continue attending the lessons. Make sure you go there through the video one more time and uh, answer the questions without referring to your notes. Thank you. Bye-bye.